you can see in this simulation of an inverting amplifier the currents flowing through the input resistor and the feedback resistor. You can also see how the current into the input of the amplifier is zero, indicating that it's an ideal op amp. You can see that the direction of the current is based on the voltage on the input supply here. The input supply is uh, AC. I've deliberately got a very low frequency so that we can observe it. Uh, it's alternating current, so it's switching between a positive voltage and a negative voltage. And that is pulling or pushing current through this input resistor, which then is forced through the feedback resistor. And the output of the op amp, you can see, is doing whatever it needs to do in order to keep the voltage on this inverting input here the same voltage as the non-inverting non input.